Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Gay from Scratch, and today we are looking at the second really interesting kit that came in part of Unreal Engine's recent free giveaway, their giveaway for uh, February of 2019. So if you're watching this video during February of 2019, you can go ahead and grab everything we're about to look at completely free. So what the heck are we talking about here? Well, first off, we are talking about the Unreal Engine monthly giveaway. Starting back about four months ago, they started giving away a bunch of stuff for free. And this month, there were two very interesting projects, the CCG Toolkit, and the Platformer 2D Toolkit. Not to dismiss the rest of them, but these two are very unique in terms of Unreal style content. Now, I already did a video about the CCG Toolkit. Um, this was all about creating um, card games using the Unreal Game Engine. And now what we're going to look at is the Platformer 2D Kit. Now, as you can see, it's normally 35 bucks right now for February only. It is completely free. If you want to grab it, just head into the Epic Game Launcher. Come down here, search for Platformer 2D like this. By the way, platformer should be a word. Uh, where the heck are you? There it is. So then locate it right here. And then you'll want to do is add to cart. Since I've already done that, you're not seeing that done, but basically add it to cart, buy it for free. And then when you want to go ahead and create it, simply locate it down in your list of assets, such as right here, click create a project. It will create a project for you up here and double click to load. Now I have to warn you for some reason, this thing takes a long time to load. Something like 15 minutes. I, it, it, I don't know what's going on there. And then once it loads, it's got to do all of its shaders for the next 20 minutes too. Loading projects in Unreal Engine for the first time is obscenely slow. But once you are done and ready and up and going, what you get is this. Now here we are inside the Unreal Engine um, editor. Uh, I'm putting us into perspective mode, which is not what I want to do. Let's go back to the front view. And you can see it is a typical level just in two dimensions, like so. And it goes on and on and on and on, various different levels here. It's actually a pretty big game. And the funny thing is, it's actually quite difficult. Now, what this guy is, the last one, the CCG toolkit, was a toolkit for creating card games. This one is not that. I don't know why they're calling it a toolkit. This is a 2D platformer game. It's pure and simple. This is a full flesh, single level 2D platforming game where you can learn from it and you could take like the blueprints out to create your own game or whatever. But this is not a toolkit per se. This is literally just an implementation of a 2D game. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. Let me just go ahead and show you the actual game. So here's what happens when you go ahead and launch it. You see there are touch based controls. So if you want to run this on Android or whatever, uh, you use the A, um, a, uh, WASD key, so A and D to move left and right, E to attack, uh, space bar to jump, and you kind of just go through the world like so. Now you'll notice there's spikes kind of hidden everywhere, and then I suck at platformers, so I can't pull this wall jump off, so basically that's as far as I ever get, and I die. This guy is very, very, very difficult. Um, probably way too difficult for so early in the tutorial, because I think I made it to here. And then the platformer just kind of keeps going to here. So I'm not very good at this game. Perhaps you are uh, substantially better than I am. But what this does ultimately show you is how to put together a platformer in Unreal Engine using blueprints and then things like uh, flip books, um, how to create things like the weapon structure. So these are the pickups within your world. This is the data structure you use to create it. We'll head on back over here. We'll look at some of the other stuff in here. So you've got your main level that we saw right here. So if you want to reload this, just go into levels and pick demo map. Uh, the other key thing is we go into the sprites. So for example, our character uh, flipbook is a collection of animations showing these are all the various different animations available for our character. So you got ranged attacks and local attacks, jumps, uh, idle animations, so on and so forth. Um, and then we got sprites here for things like weapons in the world. Uh, which looks like there's a bunch of axes. We've got animated um, projectiles. Uh, we've got the enemies that are in the world with animations and such. So there's all kinds of content and assets in here. The part that's probably most important to people though are the actual blueprints. And this is where it's showing you how to um, actually script the logic behind your character. So for example, your character is a very good place to start. So I'm gonna go up here and we're gonna go to blueprints. We're gonna open the blueprint and then we're gonna find BP, Player character, I think it was what it was called. Uh, character. Oh, is it just player character? Let me just find it right there. So you want to load up player character, and this is the guy that ultimately controls your character's movements and displays. And yeah, yeah, it's uh, uh it's busy. Uh, you'll notice this blueprint does a heck of a lot. Now, obviously, we were zoomed very far out. 
So you see here are the controllers for various different things. So this is handling the movement, handling jumping, falling, and landing. Uh, it breaks down even further. And then you see we've got this massive handler. This is your update animation, so the sprite. Switch on state. So if they're doing various different things, we switch to the next level of animation. So you're just switching out your flipbook here. So it looks terrifying at first glance, but really this is kind of like a gigantic if statement that is just switching out the flipbook to use for the current animation. And come on back here, we see the viewport. This is your player character as you can see. And then there's all various kind of functions available for this guy that have been defined. So like drawing the health, equipping a weapon, so you want to get into the weapon equipment, here is the logic behind that. And that is in essence what this actual example is. It's literally a platform implemented entirely using blueprints. And there are a number of, um, you know, tropey things here. So if you are going to implement your own platformer game, this is a very good example to draw from. Now, there is a different question and it's probably gonna be the one that I end this video on. Cause like I said, there's, there's not a whole lot more to show you here. I could go through the content that's included. It's all pretty high quality. Uh, once again, I'm gonna get questions about the license and I'm still a little ambiguous on this because originally anything that Epic releases can only be used in Unreal Engine, but these are all third party releases. So theoretically, once you own this, you should be able to use Use these assets however you want but I am not a lawyer talk to your lawyer before you use these things on your own and this by no means is my legal advice but it does seem if it is not epics release if it is just a general store release um, it isn't tied to just being used on Unreal Engine but again your mileage may vary don't sue me I am not responsible if you use this stuff and you are not licensed to do so but there is a good amount of content here and it does show you how to do things how to go ahead and create special effects how to um, script player movement how to script uh, levels and so on and like I said in the collective card game the way I really recommend learning how things work is when you run something when it is running here, the uh, the world outliner over there will actually show you the currently loaded and needed things. So you see here, there's enemy turret. If you want to go down and find out what's controlling that, we can go into the blueprint behind the turret. And here we can see the logic there. So if you want to figure out how things are done, literally just run the game, look in the world outline over there. So I'll close that back down and we'll head back over. Just look over here. And for every item instance in the world, or you click on something, uh, it will tile and highlight and show you that particular item. So let's say I click one of these things. It's a gold coin. It's one of the instances of a gold coin. And if I want to learn more about that gold coin, I literally just click on the blueprint and here is the thing controlling it. And of course, we can also see the visual representation of it by slicking, uh, switching over into the viewport mode. And here you can see the composition of it, the components that go together to make that code work. And then of course, the scripts attached to it, the logic behind it. So if you want to learn how to use or create a game using Unreal Engine, the best way really is just to play it and then jump into the controlling classes or blueprints as you play it. And this is a great learning opportunity here. Now the question is, is it a good idea to create a 2D game using Unreal Engine? And I don't know. If you're a big fan of blueprints and you like the workflow, certainly. Um, but I did a tutorial series on uh, paper and Unity 2D games right when it first launched. And to be honest, it just doesn't seem like Epic Games is focusing on this functionality. The initial early versions of uh, paper 2D and so on, the, the 2D side of things, the flipbooks, that kind of support, each new release, you're not seeing a whole lot of improvement there. So it just doesn't seem to be a priority for the, the Unreal Engine team to, to make 2D game development better in Unreal. So I'm not sure I, I would ever actually recommend creating a 2D game in um, Unreal Engine unless you had a very specific need or you're a big fan of blueprints in general. But if you do ultimately decide to go down that road and you want to create a 2D game, this is a great resource for learning exactly how to go about it. And that's it. I think that is all I'm going to cover in terms of the content in this pack. Everything else that we saw here is pretty straightforward. Particle systems, uh, texture packs, uh, example level, example level, and a particle system controller. Everything there is very straightforward, but these two were really interesting. The collectible card toolkit and the platformer 2D toolkit. Again, I kind of wish they hadn't called it that uh, because it, it's not really a... Well, I guess it's a kit. It's not a toolkit. So partially that's me to blame for... Uh, renaming it, I guess, but it, it is not really a kit. It's literally just 
a platform or implemented, but it's implemented well. Uh, it's high quality. Um, it's hard as hell, uh, but it, it's uh, definitely a good learning resource. And again, you can adapt these assets to your own need. And he also says that he's got uh, several other graphics for platformer tile sets that are compatible with this pack. So if you want to uh, get more stuff, he's got more stuff available. I never actually looked at his stuff. So we can head over here and see his tile. So you can see other different platform levels and so on. So if you want to expand upon what he's done here and make things more complicated, yeah, the price all seems reasonable. So there is that option and there is a bit of a runway there. So um, if you are interested in learning more, he does have additional tile kits and, and it's kind of cool that his stuff is free now. And I've never actually figured out how these people get compensated. I don't know if uh, Unreal Engine is giving them some money to make their product free. Basically, they buy a thousand copies, say, and then say, okay, it's free for everybody. Or if they get a bit of a commission for each one, or if these people are just getting their profile raised. I have no idea how the profits work on this one. And I'd be curious if any of you guys actually know how this whole setup works, if the, the artists are getting comp... Um, compensated for their work. I would love to know in the comments down below. I assume Unreal Engine is normally pretty classy about, you know, spreading the wealth around, especially when they're swimming in Fortnite money. So I imagine they are compensating the developer to a certain degree, and they don't seem to have any shortage of people doing it each month. So there's got to be something in it for them. So that's it. That is the platformer kit um, available until the end of February, 2019, completely free. Again, you just have to buy it, add it to your cart, buy it for no money. Uh, and then it is yours forever, but you have to do that sometime in February or the opportunity will pass you by. All right. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed that. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.